Good evening. I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. Thanks for joining us. Syracuse's mayor is calling the Skyline Apartments public nuisance number one. A homicide of 93 year old Connie Torrey prompting the mayor to now seek possible legal action there. And Syracuse police are very familiar with the 12 story complex. News Channel 9's Iris St. Moran following this for us live. Iris, what action is the mayor considering? Mayor Walsh says conditions at Skyline are unacceptable, and he's working with city lawyers to figure out what can be done about it. Syracuse police have responded to calls at Skyline Apartments more than 500 times in the last year. It's a place that workers in different city departments know all too well because the conditions there are what the mayor calls deplorable. You know, these are individuals that go see the worst of the worst apartments, and some of the things that they saw there, whether it was feces or needles, uh, is a condition that nobody should be living in. That led me to pick up the phone and reach out to the ownership myself. In his conversation with Green Skyline Apartments LLC owner Troy Green, Walsh said they discussed working together to address the problems, and if they're not addressed, the city was looking into what legal options it had. One would be using our nuisance abatement law, which would actually allow us to shutter the building. The problem with that is we have over 300 families living in that building that would be displaced. Another option they are looking into would be a legal receivership, which would allow the city to step in and take control of the property and put it in control of a manager. And there are still many other issues the property owner needs to address now. We have a number of open co code violations right now on that property. He needs to address those. He needs to continue to work with the Syracuse Police Department to make sure that there is sufficient security in that building for the people that live there. Mayor Walsh says his message to the people who live at Skyline is that the city is working to address the conditions there, and he doesn't want any of them to feel afraid to contact his office with concerns. Live in Syracuse, Iris St. Moran, News Channel 9.